Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video on Streaming Star. Cartoons have certainly been there for us since forever. Each decade introducing us to different types of cartoons and while each has its own gems, the 2000s certainly topped the list of the most immortal cartoons. Though not all of us would have realized it back then, but there were actually a great number of offensive cartoons that were made for children. Here are the top 10 most offensive cartoons from the 2000s. But before we get started, be sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of more awesome videos in the future. Number 10, South Park. Although 2005 South Park was one of the cartoons that wasn't afraid to make any controversial statement, it is certainly one of the most offensive cartoons that had a number of episodes with sexist and offensive topics. In one of the cartoon's episodes named Scientology is a Scam, the cartoon crossed limits and went out of its way to ridicule a series of sensitive and important matters. As the name of the episode suggests, the cartoon didn't only offend a religious matter, but also made some very offensive jokes about actor Tom Cruise's sexuality. In the episode, the cartoon's main character disrespected Scientology and called it a big fat lie. Moreover, it not only got banned, but one of the cartoon's voice actors also left the show later on. South Park makes several offensive statements about other religions, as well as even made whole episodes to manipulate immoral jokes and humor. Number 9, Family Guy. Despite its many offensive remarks, Family Guy became one of the most popular adult cartoons in the 2000s. Even though it's no surprise that this was a cartoon that was offensive about almost every sensitive matter there is, and the list wouldn't be complete without mentioning Family Guy, there are a number of episodes in Family Guy that have offended people from different religious groups. Similarly, in one of the episodes named Wish Upon a Weinstein, the script consisted of constant racial slurs at the Jew community. Moreover, Family Guy has one of the most famous cast and makes great money as well, as people seem to love the twisted entirety of the cartoon. Number 8. The Simpsons The Simpsons is a huge deal for the 2000s. It's not only wildly famous, but it also got away with a lot of racial and sexist jokes. In spite of a great number of controversies, The Simpsons survived decades and is still one of the most successful cartoons of all time. The cartoon made a series of racial jokes and in many cases, it crossed so many limits that even countries made threats to sue it. The cartoon also made fun of different religions and even poetry in different places around the world. In spite of its popularity, Simpsons definitely made its mark in history as one of the most offensive cartoons of all time. Number 7. The Boondocks Boondock is also one of the cartoons from the 2000s that didn't hold back from ridiculing a celebrity's sexuality. The cartoon shamelessly made constant gay jokes that were quite offensive not only to the celebrity but to the whole LGBTQ community as well. In one of the episodes called Pause, Grandpa decides to audition for a movie produced by Tyler Perry. And throughout the episode, Tyler Perry's sexuality was ridiculed and it was quite apparent that they portrayed the LGBTQ community in a very offensive way. This cartoon certainly played a great part in damaging the reputation of cartoons from the 2000s. Number 6. Drawn Together Although Drawn Together is greatly liked by many people, what most fail to notice is the racial and humorless sexist jokes. Numerous times on the show, the characters were seen speaking racist lines and ridiculing other cultures. Moreover, the actors casted for the cartoon get a little too obvious when doing voiceovers of characters of different color. Drawn Together was created to introduce a cartoon that would attract everyone's attention by making fun of innocent cartoon characters and changing their storylines by adding sexual and racial jokes. Though there's no denying the fact that Drawn Together is one of the most popular cartoons of the 2000s, it also does a very disappointing job at creating sense from the purpose of the cartoon's theme. Number 5. Dexter's Laboratory 
We all certainly love the little scientist working in his underground laboratory while his annoying sister made us all laugh by ruining his plans. But as it turns out, Cartoon Network's innocent cartoon series was about more than that. Though Dexter's laboratory gave us all great laughs and it was surely amazing as well, but in many episodes, the cartoon introduced characters that mocked fun at many sensitive issues. In one of the episodes, a character named Silver Spoon appeared in the cartoon and was quite obviously portrayed as a homosexual. Throughout the episode, the character's acts ridiculed homosexuals and their interests as well. Moreover, there was another character named The Crunk, which was a copy of the superhero The Hulk, and he was portrayed as a drunk man with many scenes where he threw up or made drunk remarks. It is quite a wonder why the episode's writers would introduce such a negative character to the cartoon series considering the age gap that watches cartoons. Moreover, the cartoon show also made a series of sexist jokes throughout the years. It turns out that even our most memorable childhood cartoons can be disappointing. Number 4. Cow and Chicken Cartoon Network's late 90s Cow and Chicken sparked great controversial discussions among the elders. The sexual innuendos were quite obvious if we take a look at the cartoon now. Moreover, just like many other cartoons on this list, this cartoon also ridiculed lesbians and quite obviously mocked them in many episodes. Not only this, the cartoon also made a number of sexist remarks, constantly targeting the show's female character. The cartoon was just the beginning of a series of cartoons that aired on a kids TV channel despite the constant offensive and controversial themes. Number 3. One Piece for a Kids Dub From the start of the 2000s, we got some of the best anime, but back then, as they were quite new, they were not presented correctly to the viewers. As all of the anime was in Japanese, it seemed as though the dubbing companies didn't even consider the fact they would be offending the people of the country that created these cartoons. The dubbed version didn't represent anything from the country and the different cultural themes of Japan were replaced by American without the consent of the original creators. Number 2. Beavis and Butthead Beavis and Butthead ran for many years in America, and despite its extremely offensive subjects, it was watched quite widely. The cartoon took severely serious situations and mocked fun at them. Although the cartoon was supposed to be comedic, it sometimes crossed way too many lines and the people started to get annoyed by it. In one of the episodes, the two characters bought rifles while breaking the law and started opening fire recklessly, and as they continued doing it, a plane flying by crashed. The worst part is that the two characters were then seen mocking the injured passengers inside. Beavis and Butthead had a great number of other offensive jokes about sensitive matters even though the animation was not of high quality. Number 1. Ed, Ed and Eddie Ed, Ed and Eddie is probably one of the best memories from our childhood. The cartoon made us laugh and the stories were quite mesmerizing as well. However, we were too young to notice the vile sexual references in the cartoon. Moreover, there were also some very violent scenes on the show as well that were not suitable for young kids. In one of the episodes, Ed constantly tells everyone about his special magazines which is quite clearly a reference that is just too inappropriate for the age group that watched the cartoon and it certainly broke the trust of parents who would confidently let their kids watch cartoons. Cartoons have been there for us throughout our hard days. However, it is quite disappointing that there are some cartoons that shamelessly make offensive jokes without considering the sensitivity of matters. This brings us to the end of our video which we hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the drop on all the latest videos we put out on our channel in the future. We'll be seeing you guys in another video real soon. Until then, take care and goodbye.